Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Hello, I am back. It's your girl Don from the Beauty Room. Hello, everybody. I just want to um to let you know what's been going on, why I've been in my A, but I'm here, I'm back. Thank you for all the prayers, the concerns on Instagram. Thank you so much to my wonderful YouTube friends. Thank you for looking out for me, checking on me. I appreciate that so, so, so much. But God is truly good and I'm grateful and blessed. I've been MIA because I was very sick. So first of all, I want to say that. But before I get into it, um, I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone and Thank you for still hanging in there with me, being a loyal subscriber. Thank you so much to the Beauty Room family. I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, so Happy New Year. Um, I hope you all had a great Christmas. I hope you all had a great New Year. And um, I hope this year be a prosperous and healthy and blessed New Year for you all with your goals and dreams set. And yeah, let's get right into it. But reason why I've been MIA because I was very sick um, for quite some time for at least last few weeks um, you know I was for the last few months I was working and everything every single day maybe had one to two days off from my job and I was working about every single day and it was just beyond crazy last year 21 2021 and um, I was telling you all in the last video that I did was about my Thanksgiving meal and I was getting ready for Christmas I was getting ready to be an elf and I went as an elf for my job for one day and then all of a sudden I wasn't feeling good I'm like okay let me just um go home so my manager sent me home that day and for like the last I say about three weeks I could not breathe I couldn't talk because Something in my lungs wouldn't let me breathe or nor talk. So, uh, my fiance Hamilton, that's my fiance. We have six six more months to go to the wedding. So, but anyway, um, I was um I couldn't really speak to him. Very vague, very little. Um, so he took me to the hospital. He couldn't go in the room with me, um, because with COVID, they don't let anybody in the room with you. You know. So, yes, um. I was in a hospital, so I just couldn't breathe. For, I mean, it felt like my lungs, like, just, just, I don't know. It just felt so weird. It just felt like I was having, like, an inner, outer body experience. But not with death, but that's just how I felt where I just, it just was, I just wasn't myself. But I walked in there, you know, into the hospital. So, yeah, they, the nurses um, signed me in and everything else like that, and, I maybe I didn't have to wait too long, you know, because it wasn't a lot of people in the waiting room, you know, not that much. So, and then of course I'm a diabetic two, type two, so they do take care of the patients that's a diabetic one and type type. I mean diabetic type two. So yes, I'm a diabetic type two as well. So within that few hours, I was already hooked up to an IV and everything else like that, and. Um, I saw my first doctor and they was like, well, have you got the cold, you know, have you got the COVID test? I said, no, the last couple of years I've been good. I constantly wash my hands, you know, um, before I start work and before Hamilton come gets me because he, because he has his break in the morning and then in the after, mid afternoon, he has his, <clears throat> he takes his lunch to come get me, you know, and there's sometimes I drive to take him to work and I keep the car here. And then that way, in the afternoon before I start my shift, I usually drive to work so that way he don't have to drive, you know, twice. So, things like that. That was our routine. And so, anyway, with the doctor, he's like, well, have you got your COVID test? I said, no. It's been, I told him like the last couple of years, I've been washing my hands, keep, keeping myself a distance away from people. You know, when I'm on my lunch or break, I'm six feet apart away from people. Um, I was being really bad. I was drinking soda after soda after soda after soda. I was like, oh my, can I do this no more? You know, so I was like, oh my gosh, can I do this no more? But, you know, I was like, okay, 2020, I was like, 20,000, I mean, 2022, I'm going to stop drinking soda. That's going to be my year to get my health back together and normal. You know, I'll be fine. So the doctor came back within less than a minute 
and said, if you have Copic, I was just like, what? So I was in, I was in shock because after all the things that I've been doing, washing my hands, of course, keeping my body clean, of course, day and night, you know, before I go to work and after I come home from work, you know, I, you know, and washing my hands at work and before I get off work, you know, I wash my hands, I come home, wash my hands and I use a dis, a dis, um, a disinfectant spray that we sell at work, you know, like last year or two, no, last year I, you know, would spray our, um, our doorknobs and spray our car, you know, doorknobs, you know, everything, you know, to keep my, keep our, keep Hamilton and I sanitized and clean, you know, and he washes his hands daily and nightly too, you know, he gets a chance to go on his lunch break, you know, and it's like, okay, so I was like, I was just in shock, I didn't cry, but I was just like, okay, Lord, whatever this is going to be, Lord, you know, you got plans for me, bigger plans for me, I'm putting it all in your hands, Lord, you know, of course I was praying, the girl was praying, um, <clears throat> and I was like, okay, let me just call my family, let them know what's going on, and then, the other thing, other problem I had too, on top of COVID, I had pneumonia. COVID and pneumonia at the same time, that was no joke. I mean, the pneumonia kept my body so weak, I could barely eat. I could, I couldn't even taste anything. So, only thing I could eat was just chicken broth, chicken broth, chicken broth, water. You know, Hamilton was my nurse for a good month and he was so sweet. You know, he would get off work, you know, <clears throat> and uh, bring me orange juice, um, apple juice, water, um, 7-Up, of course, my fake cola or Pepsi, you know, which was my thing to drink. And he kept, you know, doing that and making sure I had a few cans of chicken noodle, just not chicken noodle soup, but chicken broth. I could barely eat. I could barely stand. I could barely breathe. And I had to be on the, also, I had to be on the, I had to be on the breathing machine at the hospital as well too i was in there for about three days about about three days um they let me go um on christmas eve and i got home i just stayed in bed for like last the first few days of the same week that i got out of the hospital i could hardly walk i could hardly talk and yeah but i was very sick but um Yes, so that's what's been going on with me. I'm sorry, I've been MIA. I have some videos that I want to do. Um, from I got a couple of packages from Shop Miss A, of course, and ColourPop Cosmetics, and some other videos I want to do. So I'm trying to get my schedule together because I just started back work Monday this past week, and I was out of work for almost about a month almost two months yeah about two months i was gone for literally for two months at work and the co-workers i had was so are so sweet they was praying for me i was praying for them and you know i was praying for um for my regular customers that come in you know see me of course you know just check up on me i was praying for them i was praying for you all and that you all be safe and have a prosperous blessed and healthy new year for 2022 oh my goodness it was just it was horrible it was bad, but God is so good. Um, I'm here. I'm alive. I have a testimony. I'm a living, living, blessful, grateful person to be alive and to be walking and be talking to you all because you all are my second family. I appreciate you all so, so much. Um, thank you for, like I said, thank you for hanging in, in there with me, being there with me through my first beginning of YouTube. Um, thank you so much. God bless you all. And I just want to let you all know what's, what happened, what was going on with me. Um, yeah, so I had a pretty bad two months, but I just got back Monday to go back to work. Um, I do need to see my doctor next month, so I need to make a few, a few appointments to follow up with him. So, you know, I can just make sure I'm still okay to go back to work. And also, while I was in the hospital... I had a mass on my chest um, with COVID, with COVID and pneumonia. So I caught the COVID first and then it had pneumonia also with COVID. And then it had a mass on my chest. That's why my lungs were so bad where I couldn't even breathe. So yeah, that was going on with me 
had all that going on for two months. Um, but God is good. He is, <laughs> whoo, um, everyone, if you're going through something, pray about it. Pray to God about it because God hears you. God will provide for you. He will provide for you. He will provide. You got to trust and believe in him. God will provide. So, and then on top of this, this month, our car has been acting up. You know, I've been, we have not just me, Hamilton and I have been going through a lot where our car is messing up. It's, whew, but God is good. Um, Hamilton's, um, well, my father-in-law helped us out. So thank God for him. I appreciate my father-in-law and so, so much. And if you have family near you right now or, or your significant other, your husband, you know, fiance, just be grateful that you have him because... Um, some relationships are broken up because of the COVID, you know, because you're constantly with each other every day, you know, but God is good because, you know, you have somebody with you, you know, through the COVID, through all this of all what's going on, you know, so just pray for one, pray for another, continue to pray for me. I'm continuing to pray for you all. So God bless you all. I will see you in the next video and I will let you know my schedule, my right, right schedule, because I also um wanted to start another youtube channel because i was telling you that as well in the um, love last year before all this what was going on with me so i do have i'm i'm working on that in in, a, in, pro, in progress with doing another youtube channel so yes yeah, so continue to pray for me and continue to look to give each other strength pray for another pray for any for, pray for strangers that you do not know because everybody needs prayer so god bless you all i won't be too long so i will see you all in the next video and before i go i'm gonna say a quick prayer heavenly father god i thank you for this morning i thank you for this day oh father god that you bless us all this morning to wake up to see one another to see our significant other our, our lover our best friend our family our friends um being pet parents you know thank you for that thank you for our our parents grandparents um great grandparents our children our nieces and nephews cousins um we are thankful to have a job lord for the hours we get paid thank you for everything you've given us a home roof over our head food in our mouths clothes on our back clothes on our children food to have for them how we just thank you for the jobs we have for the careers we have or going to college going to going back to school at any age and God, we just thank, thank you, God, for protecting the buildings, oh, Father God, for these young children and these young adults. Lord, we thank you, Father God. Continue to give us strength, hope, um, our dreams and goals to come true. God, I just thank you for all the subscribers that's been hanging here with me, the original, and also new subscribers that are, um, are going to be on my YouTube channel or subscribing. And thank you, God, for them, oh, Father God. I just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God, we are grateful and blessed in Jesus' name. We ask and pray. Let this be a blessed weekend and a blessed week for each and every one of us and ourselves, our children. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. In God's name, amen. So if you're a, an original subscriber, thank you. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for <clears throat> reading that notification bell, for being part of the, uh, for being part, excuse me, of the beauty room family god bless you thank you so much come back and continue watching the beauty room and yeah i will see you in the next video bye bye